Hey everyone, we've been in quarantine for almost three weeks now, and I feel like it's time for a self-care day. I posted this graphic on my Instagram feed right at the beginning of this, and I thought it was time I took my own advice. Hopefully this video gives you some ideas on how you can care for yourself and your household at this time. Let's go. All right, since many of our travel plans have been canceled, that means we're staying put. So make your bedroom like a hotel room, put some fresh sheets on and get cozy. Final touch, my lacquer slob decorative pillow. That is, have a good night's sleep in Afrikaans. All right, you guys, one of my favorite ways, well, not really, but one of the ways I've been trying to make sure that I take care of myself is by moving my body every day. So I'm gonna get my butt off of this couch and do a little workout. Obviously the gyms have been closed for a while and I find it super hard to motivate myself at home. Home workouts are not as fun and not as good as when you got someone yelling at you. I really miss my berries fam and I feel like a gym rat having just said fam. But yeah, we try and just move our bodies every day and it really does help get the endorphins flowing and makes you feel a little bit more accomplished, especially when you have an apple. I think when we are all in our normal everyday lives, pre-quarantine, sometimes our skincare routine definitely gets left behind, especially when you have multiple steps. So I think during this time, it's really nice to take the time, do some face masks, put on your full skincare routine and take some time to just get it done, especially if you can like massage your face or you know, if you have some of those tools that gets the lymph nodes moving in here. I think that would be a really good option. I know for me, my skincare routine is super important to me and I really value being able to do it and just take that time for myself, especially if you're living with someone, it's kind of the only alone time you get too. Some things that I have chosen to fill my day with is reading. I used to love reading as a child and then as I became an adult, it just, was not something I made time for or prioritized in my life. So I'm currently reading this book. It's really not my favorite. I really don't like it. I'm trying to get through it. I'm almost done. And I have a huge pile of books that I am ready to work on. I really prefer an actual book with paper and pages as opposed to one on an iPad or on a screen. I just find it's a lot easier to read and then I'm not spending as much time on my phone where you could probably be a lot more easily distracted to go on Instagram or whatever it may be. So something I talked about in our apartment tour video is trying to keep home a sanctuary. And for us, that's trying to keep things as neat and clean as possible. So put those dishes in the dishwasher as soon as they're dirty. Wipe your counters down, declutter a space. Once everything's in its place, you can even give it a little deep clean. Do those chores that you neglect, like dusting, mopping, maybe vacuuming. I love vacuuming, so I do it all the time, but I don't know, whatever you guys feel your house needs. So something I'm sure we've all heard lately is that when you have something to take care of, it kind of motivates you to get your day going and to just be a little bit kinder. So unfortunately we don't have a pet trying to convince Davey to get us a dog. If you have a pet, consider yourself lucky. I just have a husband. I do have a few plants that I need to take care of. So taking the day to water them, to clean the leaves and just give them a little extra attention. It will definitely help lower your anxiety. So those are some of the things I do in my self-care quarantine routine. That is a mouthful. You know what else is a mouthful? Fatso peanut butter. Something you may not know about me is that I did not like peanut butter until just a few months ago when my friends Steven and Lindsay converted me and it's all because of this peanut butter right here, specifically this one. 
We love Fatso. This is the only peanut butter I will ever buy. If you haven't tried it, you have got to try it. But we thought a fun way to end this video would be by doing a blind taste test. I'm not gonna know which one is which, and I'm gonna make my guesses. That's a classic one. That's a salty caramel crunchy one. I think that one might be my favorite now. That one's chocolatey. Did I win? Hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know how you are taking care of yourself during this time. Give me some more ideas down below. And if you love Fatso as much as I do, be sure to like this video. Also subscribe because I'm making a lot of videos now that I'm stuck at home. So see you soon.